In part 2, we learned about the current wars which resulted in the electricity we use today. In this installment, we'll see how electricity has become a power Edison and Tesla may never have imagined. One that drives entire nations and the global economy. To help us appreciate this magnitude, first we'll need a way to measure it. This is a megawatt. One million watts. A megawatt hour is the amount of energy needed to power up 2,700 Filipino homes for one hour. Now, if you can imagine all the homes, offices, and industries around the world, it takes millions of megawatts to keep them lit up and running just for one hour. This is a typical daily electricity consumption curve. It shows how we generally use electricity at home when we wake up, at work, and finally back home to sleep in a given day. An important issue now is how we can ensure the electricity we need every day is always available and affordable. For while we are making inroads into the development of sustainable sources of energy, we are still heavily reliant on limited fossil fuels. And due to the increasing awareness and demand for environmentally friendly solutions, we are called to be more efficient in our use of the resources which we do have. What we need is a new way of looking at electricity, a new model for generating it, and a new model for managing it, a better alternative. We've already described electricity as a kind of energy and as a resource. But what if we also think of it as a commodity, something you can buy, sell, or trade? Actually, we can but with some important differences. First, electricity, unlike other commodities, can't be stored, at least in amount cities need. Which means, although it can be traded, electricity must be used as it is generated. Either you use it, or you lose it. Second, electricity is an undifferentiated product. The end user cannot determine which specific power plant supplied the electricity. And third, voltage drops when electricity is sent over two long distances. Taking these characteristics of electricity into consideration, a competitive electricity market can be established to facilitate trading between power plants and buyers. A major implication of such a market is a shift in how things are done and priced. From a wholesale standpoint, large buyers like cities, distribution companies, and industries can calculate the megawatts they need, and we can now determine which power plants can supply reliably at the lowest possible cost. This wholesale market, in a process called wheeling, delivers cheaper electricity first to fulfill the buyer's needs before calling more expensive options to supply. Delivery is instantaneous, delivered just as it's generated. In this way, a transparent and efficient electricity market encourages power plants to be more efficient and cost-effective. And by ensuring the best costs and the best supply, the consumer gets the best price for their power. The industry makes efficient use of our natural resources, reducing wasteful use. And we make sure that the next generations enjoy the benefits of our decisions today. The dream of what the world can be. A vision of better alternatives and inspired possibilities. We have the power to make a brighter future.